uh, engineer from uh, Alaska by the, the name of Jim Holleran, who's one of the top engineers in the industry, contacted me on some property in, in the lower 48, which they was to put one of my dredges on. The only problem is it's contaminated with mercury. Well, the amazing thing is, at the time my tennis dredge was running in the Greenhorn Creek at Grass Valley, I was extracting mercury that had been used up there by the old dredgers. And not knowing uh, that I was reclamating, uh, reclamation of the property through my dredges, taking the mercury out, which is a poison. It's, it hasn't mercury been illegal for so many years? Well, no, it hasn't. Uh, it, in all honesty, they used it in the 1880s up until about 1940, and it was legal. After 1940, when they shut down all gold mining, uh, it was ignored. And law should have been passed here in the United States uh, to not allow mercury to be used in any form in mining. It didn't happen. And the contamination wow. continued on up until the 1960s mm. and then the environmentalists did get involved and they have passed certain laws to eliminate mercury. So when mercury is in the water, it's in a stream, it's in a pond, it doesn't go away. It's there forever. It doesn't oh, yes. evaporate, it just doesn't go through. No, it's uh, mercury is a, a metal. I mean it's a liquid metal. Uh, we could call it quicksilver. Mm. And mercury was used to amalgamate with the gold to capture the gold and they spilled literally tons of it. And on this particular property in Montana, the state is willing to pay me to extract that mercury. So your technology can come in there, extract all the different mercury and everything else in, so we get the gold and the mercury at the same time. Oh yes, my, my dredge will concentrate and classify any material heavier than the surrounding gang. Gang meaning the dirt that it's in and it does it very efficiently. And mercury is very easy to recover uh, with my concentrator classifiers. And uh, we can segregate that from the gold and take that poison out of the streams. Wow, what a benefit. And uh, the amazing thing is, is Mexico has contacted me and they have a river down there where the people are eating the fish and they would like for us to come in and take the mercury from the river, which we will do. The country of Peru has contacted us and wishes to have dredges down there to extract mercury. And what is great about my dredge is the mercury is not handled by human hands. Everything is automated where the mercury ends up in the container. We seal it, send it to the factories for them to process. It's brilliant. So brilliant. it's a built-in industry within itself. I've only been a gold miner. Now I'm going to be reclamating the streams. How would they get the mercury out if it's not your dredge? Do they do they get mercury out? Is there no, a way to do that? No, no, no. no. They they, uh, they basically just they just leave it. Wow. And it's a contaminant. The fish eat it. You eat the fish, you got a problem.